Seattle, Washington, it may be the capital of grunge music and coffee, but this city of 3.4 million is also a bustling hub of aircraft manufacturing. And aviation's adventurous history is on display at Seattle's Museum of Flight. Located near downtown, this impressive institution is one of the largest air and space museums in the world and houses an extensive collection spanning time and space. Inside, visitors will find the only artifact to survive Amelia Earhart's final flight, a piece of scrap metal retrieved from a Hawaii runway during the first leg of her fateful and mysterious 1937 voyage. Another one of the museum's star attractions represents an even loftier mission. It's a life-size walk-through model of the Destiny, a high-tech command center and laboratory designed to support the International Space Station. Though it never reached the same celestial heights, the Concorde, now retired, was the world's first and only supersonic commercial jet. In 1976, this darling of the airline industry cut the flight time to cross the Atlantic to under three hours, half the time it took a standard jet. Though the Concorde fleet was officially grounded in 2003, aviation enthusiasts can still get a close-up look inside this aeronautic marvel. And there's one curious relic more suited to science fiction than reality, the 1949 Aero Car. This tiny vehicle was poised to revolutionize flight in the mid-20th century, but federal regulations held it back, leaving the Aero Car project grounded. Fortunately, the legacy of this extraordinary aircraft lives on, preserved for future generations to enjoy. From high-flying adventurers to out-of-this-world exhibitions, Seattle's renowned Museum of Flight gives the proud and ambitious history of aviation the lofty esteem it deserves.